Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls for Alpha 20 series. I'm just getting loaded in here. It is the morning of day 43. Got my concrete blocks loaded up here. Got some junk turrets on me. We got some dart ammo in them as well. I've got a bunch of zombies down here. What's up guys? What are you all uh, doing? That should take care of that problem. Won't have to burn through any ammo if I don't have to. Gotta use up some of these Molotovs too because, I mean, they're of limited value now moving forward. A lot of the zombies are a lot tougher than uh, one um, Molotov, so. Well, it's nice to see the neighbors are joining us today. Ah, damn it, I'm doing more destruction to my own base here. Come on, get off my walls. She bled out. Oh, you're still alive. Alright, you're a remnant from last night. So we should have a wandering horde at some point this morning. Where are you? Oh, you're back here. There's two of you. More than two. Wow. Must have been a party going on out here last night. Local zombie rave, and I wasn't even invited. What the hell? What's up, buddy? Yep. I was not even invited to the zombie rave. Alright. So I've got a few ideas of what I want to do here. We're not going to build our base here. But what I want to do to this place to turn it into our house. I want to, like, build, like, an, a, a hydroponic hydroponics garden inside... I don't know whether I'll use the in internal growing lights or... What the fuck? Who's out here now? I'm waiting for the wandering horde to go by. Oh, you took that one right in the face. Somebody's over there banging on something. Anyway, yeah, I want to set up a garden in here. I gotta be careful though because I don't know how structurally sound that roof is. Like if we start filling all these holes in, is it gonna stay okay? I don't know. These supports are probably really important. But I'll figure that out a little later when we work on the house. That's probably going to be like, I don't know. It might never get done. It'll be a long time for now if it does happen. All right, let's just put some stuff in the bike here that we're not going to need while we're working away today. Okay, now we need to go find a place for the horde base. Now I was thinking about doing it inside the town. But I'm thinking I'm going to build from scratch and we're going to go outside the town. What I want to do is I want to build in an iron node. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out here. We're going to go find ourselves an iron node. It's going to be laggy here for the first little bit as the uh, world loads in. Unfortunately, my computer is not as fast as it used to be. I'm down one internal fan, which doesn't really help. I should actually, you know, the strange, I, I thought about recording at work. But that means I have to spend more time at work and I don't feel like doing that and my machine there is like ridiculously fast. But yeah, this is just a hobby for me, so no big deal. Alright, let's get out here. It's gotta be I mean, it can't be too far. Because we gotta be able to run here if for whatever reason we're at the house. Like we could build right here. Hmm. Try and find somewhere a little flatter, I think. Let's go over here. Let's kill this guy. Got any hazmat? Nope. What about you? Nothing. Let's have a look at the map. I'm trying to stay away from the south down here. Um, what if we go over to where these treasure maps are? I mean, it's not too far away from the house. Alright, let's go to the treasure maps. Alright, I got distracted. What's this? Oh, this is the military base. This is just north of the town, too. And that's a pass in gas, it looks like, over there. So, yeah, I mean, we could build there. I want it to kind of be flat all the way around us, though. I don't want in in anything to impede the zombies' movements. Alright, this is not ideal. But we're here. And we're waiting for the Wandering Horde to show up, so let's, uh... Dig this up. Now, um, apparently the southwest corner for these is supposed to be pretty good. So let's uh, quickly dig down here. 
see if we can find this. Zombies. So I've been forcing myself to play always now with Feral Sense on. It's, um... I don't know. There's something about it. The danger of always having to worry about zombies. Like that one. And I never know if the noise is going to be from a wandering horde or from... Just regular guys like this idiot. Oh man, they're all coming in now. Can't get anything done. But at least the regular zombies aren't really a threat. I mean, I could wait for them to show up in the hole, but... Eh. Man, I love the fact that you can actually crawl under here and kind of look at look around and see stuff. But, uh... It is... I mean, it is kind of cheating. Oh, there it is. So you got, like, what, 7,000? Well, you know, I thought I'd try an experiment to see how many lockpicks it would take to get in here. It was a hell of a lot. All right, that's not bad. 57 coil sh uh, sh shotgun, not bad in there. And a little ergonomic grip mod. Do we have one? We got one on here, though, don't we? We do. Can we get one in there? We sure can. Beautiful. All right, um, let's go find this other one over here. It's not going to be flat either, but I figure we should dig it up. Alright, I don't like this positioning. Ah, it makes me wish I had the bow for crying out loud. Alright. Oh, leg spike. Let's get up on top of the hill. Could be a wandering horde. I don't see anybody. It is a little laggy, though. Knowing me and my luck, they spawned right behind that hill. If they spawned. Well. Fight them if they show up. There it is. Man, if we get trapped in here, we're screwed. So this is the reason why I dropped the, uh, um, what's it called? Crowbar? Power attacking does just as much damage and they almost use no stamina. Speed's about the same getting in. Well, it's a little faster getting into it with the, with the pickaxe. Come on, you guys. Hurry up. Ah. Wasn't really worth it. Ooh, hazmat guy. Ah, nice orange pants. Ooh, hazmat? Nope. Scrap that, though. I heard somebody else. Okay, let's, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 12. First row. Put the rest of the stuff in the bike. Alright, we gotta go find a place to make a base now. I can't wait for that wandering horde to show up. And hopefully it spawned, like, when I was driving the bike somewhere. All the terrain around here is broken terrain, except for over here. Alright, that's where it's going to be then. Oh, looks like that may have been the case. That may be a wandering horde over there. Actually, this could be a good place for the base here. Was that a wandering horde? Maybe it's, it is. And it's got a behemoth in it too. All right, well, we got to take them on. Let's just check these two nodes here. Ah, oh, there's a little bit of a hill here, though. Excuse me, buddy. All right, let's go gather these effers up. Oh, man. Check to see if we got any demons. I don't think so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I said I was going to check my game stage, too. Uh, Snowy was wondering what game stage I was at. I have no idea what game stage I'm at. I generally don't look at that kind of stuff. I just kind of go. 
Oh, you're pretty fast, eh? Uh, I don't want to be throwing that near you. Ow! Probably got some of them. Get that shotgun out. That guy's pretty quick. Oop, missed him. Doesn't hit very hard, though. That's a fair amount of hit points. I think we should switch to this. Ah, we're not even procking. Did I get the electricity thing back on this? Where's the big guy? Damn it. Oops. My bad. Yeah, it's procking on her. It probably just doesn't show up on this guy. And he's down. Where's the other one? Whoops! They took that tree down. I think they're a bit angry at me. I gotta get them grouped up here. How am I missing you? Oh, for crying out loud. Shouldn't have had all that cough syrup for breakfast. They can't catch me, so I'm not worried about it, but I can't hit them. It's like completely useless. Click. I really need to get a uh, combat shotgun, but I can't get that till I have expert farmer. Alright, we're gonna call a screamer if we're not a little more careful. Ooh, that was a hit. I can't let her hit me again. Okay, good to know. She's bleeding though. All right, rest of these guys are idiots. I gotta stop playing with my food. That should have been an easy takedown, and that was like me being stupid. Ah, Winchester, we don't need M4. Let's use that though, because we currently do not have master uh, of anything. We're masterless. Eh. Is there more? I thought there was more. Did I just go... Yeah, I don't see any more. Well, that was kind of sucky. Alright, let's put the stuff in here. How well do we do? We got a bit of shotgun ammo back. Which ain't bad. I mean, we did okay. Let's leave that out. Don't need that. Um, yeah, I mean, whatever. A few things to sell. Now, uh, we need a place to build. I wanted to be right over an iron node, though. That's the thing. I don't see any boulders here anywhere. That's uneven ground. I mean, I guess maybe here. There's a bit of a hill over there, but if we angle away from the hill, like we angle the base this way. Yeah, there was more bags over there. I thought so. How did I not see those? Very well camouflaged. One bandage. And nothing. Well, should have kept going. Alright, well, we're going to build here. Alright, we got to get working. At least we know the horde's done now. Alright, so. Iron, perfect. Dig up all this. Alright, let's bring down the concrete blocks. So, oh, this is going to take a while. I knew it was going to take a while, though, so. 
If we can get the base up today, which shouldn't be too much of an issue, like the bottom part of it. If we want to build, we're going to build right over top of this right here. Uh, so we have to go down one. So to there. Two, three, four, five. Ah, uh, shit, it's uneven. Two, three, four, five, six. So if I'm going to do a nine by nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, because we need to have a block on the outside to protect the lower part of the wall. So let's go around and get this base dug up. So damn paranoid. As soon as I hear a zombie, I'm thinking it's another wandering horde, but I know it's not. Alright, let me get the uh, bottom part of this base down. Alright, so that looks like it's about it. We got a uh, hole in the center here, which we want to keep because that's going to be our. Well, not necessarily our in and out of the base, but this is where our mine shaft's going to be for when we're mining at night. So now we're going to go ahead and fill in the rest of this with the rest of the blocks that we have. Okay, so we got the... Mm, let's put the ladder on that side. That's going to be the back. So we've got the two... Well, we're two blocks high here, so if anything shows up, other than a bunch of zombies, we should be fine. So now I'm going to work on getting the rest of the outer wall done here. So this needs to be five blocks high. Um, that's where our feet are going to be. So this is going to be a solid block house. Four blocks thick, five blocks high, plus one ground level block, which is just below ground level. Just in case they start to blow holes and stuff. Um... We've got a little added protection. Now I'm only going to do the upper three or upper two. Sorry. The bottom two rows are going to be fully blocked solid to the center. And then the next two rows, I'm only going to have two rows of blocks temporarily while we get the rest of the blocks into place. And then I can fill in the inside a little later uh, once we get more concrete. And of course the outside will be eventually be stainless steel. The inside doesn't necessarily need to be. As the blocks get destroyed and revealed on the outside, we can start to replace them with stainless steel. But as long as this is all solid, then that ladder on the inside won't even be seen as a way to get to us. It'll just be, it'll just be like, oh, it's just easier to go up the ramp to get to them. Well, they won't even think about breaking through this. Alright, so that is too high. Now this is the floor. So we're going to fill in this part. Now I know I'm missing out on a lot of XP by not laying in wood blocks, then cobble, and upgrading everything. But the thing is I'm so time um, sensitive in this playthrough that that's just not really an option. I mean, I could do it, but, and I get a lot of XP out of it, but right now I'm battling XP and I'm battling um, time. Because we don't, I mean, we don't really have a functioning horde base to handle, oops, that should not be there, uh, to handle behemoths and stuff. Um, and they're going to be coming this next horde night. That, um, oops, shit, I was supposed to leave a spot here too. That um, wandering horde proved that they're going to be coming next uh, horde night. And we need to have this space. Obviously, we're not getting a horde tonight, which is good, which means we have a whole other day to get this going. I was hoping to spend the day down here in the mine, but I think we need to get home and get some concrete going. Let's get this out of here, too. All right, now we want to limit the zombies' firing lines to us. Let's do this. And this. Okay. Um... We've got 500 blocks. Alright, we use about half our resources to get this up and running. 
I should probably kill that wolf, but it's a regular wolf. I don't care. Okay, so um, planning. Now, the walkway is going to be out that way, which means this is going to be solid. And I think I want my shooting line to be right here, which means the stairs are going to come up this way and go along here. Put that in. And I'm thinking the sledge turret should be there and there. We put a couple windows in that we can open and grab the sledge turret. If it's like if it gets like I've never had a sledge turret get damaged unless I'm shooting it. But if it gets damaged for whatever reason, we can open a window here, grab it real quick, close the window, fix it, and then put it back down if we had to. So in order to do that, what you want to do is do uh, let me see if I can remember how I did this now. It was the angle blocks. It is, is it these wedges I was using? I don't think it was that. Hmm. I think it was this one actually here. Just got to plan this out again. I got to remember how to do this. So this would be this way. And then the top is the other angle here and then we go advanced like that and then we can crouch we can shoot through here this gap is actually seems pretty wide but when you put the shutters on the outside so there's going to be plates out here the shutters will be attached to the plates so they don't get like pretty much destroyed and fall so there'll be the plates will be on the outside here shutters will be here two sets of them we can open fire through and then when we don't want to have them see us at all or whatever we can just close them up real quick and our second fighting post is here when they come around they're going to come around to this side and we're going to be fighting them right here so i need to figure out now i think i need to i've been trying to think of how we're going to run it if i want to get some like electrical traps and stuff going which i think we're going to need i'm going to need to extend this bit out slightly so we can put the electrical fence posts in here and on this side we have access to repair them and we can fight from here and then the back corner here we're going to have a door that goes out with a ladder that goes to the roof it's going to be in a it's going to be in a cage in a cage so we can see all the way around us but we can also get up to the roof and um right here in this corner i might build a little overhang but right here in this corner uh, we're going to have a wall here, a steel wall, and we're going to have our power supply here so that even if a cop gets around here and spits in, we're not going to be able to hit the power supply. And then from here, we'll have a protection here so that they can't hit it either. I've never had them really, um, I've never had them spit through and actually hit my power supply. I think that's what I want to do here. Yeah. Okay, um, let's get this part done first. So I haven't decided... Oh, I should have copied that shape, damn it. Um, I haven't decided um, how thick I want my roof just yet. Two, three, and then shape. Uh, where are you, the wedge tip? Here, and advanced. Because I have to worry about succubus, right? Eventually. I don't, I mean, at 64 zombies, it's, it's, they're pretty much a nightmare. But at 24, it's not going to be too, too bad, I don't think. All right, now shutters. Oh, man. Um, nope. Get those crafting. All right, now uh, we got to do the ramp still too. Get this one, and then these guys. Uh, come on. All right, I got to kill this wolf now. Where'd he go? And of course, there he is. I was going to say, of course, the moment you want to kill the wolf, you can't find him. Okay. So, now, this is all going to be leveled out too. This is all going to be blocks. 
at some point, but not right now. Um, okay, so this is where the ramp is going to be here. So that will be where my walkway is. So that's walkway, walkway, walkway. Okay, they got to come around here. We're going to be sticking this out probably two. So that's one, two, three. Now, how far back do I want to go? To here, probably? So we need to go up one more. Or do we? No, I don't think we do. I've got it three at the front because we're going to have plates on here. Then we're going to have the junk turret sitting like here and here to pump them right back this way, back onto the walk. So this is going to go five and then the stairs will be here. And we need to go up five. So that's the height. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, so they're going to come up here. Straight into my light, my gunfire. Those will be closed. They're going to get shot at. They're going to round the corner, get punted. Back down here, which will then put them back on the route to the stairs. I think that's... I think we want to go one more. Got to make sure this is right. The last block I had, last block house I used was a 13 by 13. This is a 9 by 9. Which is a little less room, but I think, because my fear is that they're going to, if this is where the junk turret is. Actually, let's do this. Okay, so if I just put the shutters. Actually, let's get some plates. So, shape, plate, and then we want to go on face. This is just extra blast protection. That'll all be steel too. And then these... So we can get rid of you out of there. You guys are going to be this way, right? Opening out. Yep. Okay. So the question is, is if it's on this angle, then of course we'll replace these with uh, steel. All right, let's see if we can do, um, let's put you there. And then let's quickly go and put, just for the sake of argument, that. I guess I could have used these against the Watering Horde, huh? Yeah, you know me. You know me. All right, so if that's where they are, can I actually reach them? I cannot. I can get that one. How come I can't get the other one? It's probably because it's too far forward. If it was back farther like this guy was, then I could do it. I just have to make sure they're back far enough. Yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty far forward. So when I set them up, this is how I normally do it. I step back here. Pull them back a little bit because I want to make sure they can see the head of the zombies. It just means if I lay them back down again, I might not get a chance to... Uh... Like if I have to repair them and put them back down, I might not get a chance to repair them again. Like that's still out of range. Why was I... Okay, I could pick up that one though. Does it have to be a specific spot on the turret? Oh, I just crouch and I can do it. 
Okay. I'll just have to make sure that they're properly set up. Okay. It's not perfect, but it'll work. But this is where we want the uh, turrets to be. Because I don't want them to... I don't want them to be punting, punting them back onto the walkway here. I want them to be punting them out that way. So let's go ahead and make some stairs. I just want to make sure, actually, before we do that, two, three, four, five, oops, five right here. So like that. I think that'll work. I think that'll work. Oh, this is so iffy. Yep. I gotta do it. Shit. That was deliberate. That was deliberate. So was that. I'm sure it was. Okay, concrete blocks. Come on, man, I'm fighting time here. Yeah, I never would have had enough time to build this. If we had a horde tonight, I would have definitely had to go back over to the old base. Okay, it's a good thing we got a free day, though. We might get a horde tomorrow. Sorry this episode's all building, but unless I do this now... I should have done this from day one, and I said this right at the very beginning, too. I was like, I should just build over iron. I don't know why I didn't. It just makes so much sense, like, especially if you're playing, like, Horde every night, or if you're playing, um, like, Horde every few days. If you're going to build a Horde base, make it your base and your Horde base all in one, and build over an, a node, like an iron node or something. So at night, when you're back at your house, once you're done everything, all you have to do is just go down to the mine and do mining. That's all you're doing all night is mining. Then you just don't have to complain about resources. You've got iron... Especially if you're over an iron node, you'll have steel production up and running, hopefully relatively early. Shit. Okay, those need to be there anyway, I think. Right? Yeah. Three, four. And that's stairs, right? Five, that's the walkway, perfect. Okay, perfect. Now, um... I'm pretty sure this... I, I really hope this is right. I'm pretty sure it is, though. Like that. These are all stairs. Right, they come up here. And then across. Okay. Well, sun's going down. We're going to get back to the house now. I'm going to leave these frames and everything here. Continue working on the base tomorrow. Tonight, I'm going to get as much concrete moving as I can. Get as many blocks made as I can. And hopefully we don't have a horde tomorrow. Um, but we're going to fill that in as best we can do uh, tomorrow. And then, like, hopefully we can get the upper part done. I'd like to be able to get the wire fence posts in and as much of the other stuff in as we can possibly get. So at least, if for whatever reason we do have a horde there, we're not just relying on the sledge turrets, which in their own right are pretty good, but I would rather have something that's uh, going to be a little bit more protective, I guess. Now, do we have anybody around here? There are people over there, but I think it's going to be pretty quiet here. All right, let me get inside, take stock of what we have. We have power... Pretty sure we have power. Okay, what do we got here? We got a bit of that we can put in. Let's make some more steel. Got a little bit of sand. Can't know. I don't know if I was making concrete. We needed stone. I should have stayed over there. We got zombies too. So we've got a battery bank. We got okay. We've got a generator bank. Pretty sure I have engines for it. Switches. Two electric fence posts, so we'll make two more. 
So it's... We do have a bunch of steel, too. Okay, I don't feel so bad now. At least the heart... Like, the, the main parts will be covered in steel. Electrical. Forged iron. Mechanical parts. Man, we need to do a lot of work here. Alright, electrical fence posts. Let's make two more. Oh, yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Got about these guys. So I made... Uh, junk turrets. Level 61. I'm going to put a rad remover and the uh, power attack, like power blow in each one of these guys. I think I have a few more mods, but I'll put those two in for now. Oh, yeah, I got stuff in the bike too, don't I? I've got to kill these guys anyway. Come on, you bastards. You're wrecking my house. That was a nice drop. You know what that tells me? It tells me we're entering into bad time territory. Oh, fuck. Getting dark. Let's get the stuff out of the bike first so we can just get inside. Get this stuff organized tonight. Kill these two guys first. Front shot. Who else is here? Alright, where's this guy down here? There's so many of them! I know they're all runners. Not that I care, but... Oh, you bled out. Alright, let's get inside. Anyway, I'm gonna get stuff made tonight. I'm gonna get as much concrete moving as I can. We got 800. I'll make some more blocks. Hey, Kenny. Uh, we'll make some more blocks. It's just so much easier building with blocks over there than it is to, like, have to, like, lay everything down and upgrade it. I mean, the experience would be nice, but if this was early game, I'd grab it, but... Oh, yeah, before we go, uh, game stage. So, um, 199. I thought it was over 200, but I guess I'm not. 199. So we're almost over 200. I mean, behemoths are coming. It's, it's... The next horde is behemoths. I don't know how many there'll be, but we'll have some. We're not going to get away from that. All right, well, I'm going to end... Oh, we do have concrete and lots of darts. Oh, and some casings. What else did I make? Oh, lots of concrete. Oops. Grab that. Come on. I shift-clicked it. Lag. Did I actually get that? No, I did not. What the hell? What the hell, dude? 200 more steel. Okay. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. Let's get as much... Uh... Oh, we got more sand, too, and more concrete. Wow, what a... Oh, here's me thinking ahead, eh? 3,000? Yeah, man. All of it. Okay, we're good. We're good. We'll be okay for a horde. If we don't get a horde tomorrow, bam, we're we're golden. But if we do get a horde tomorrow, oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be brutal. I got these blocks. We could take over to the old base and we could just see if we could survive. Worst case scenario, I jump down, run them out to the field to try and get out of the city because of the lag. And then take take the horde on on foot. I haven't, I haven't done it in Darkness Falls yet. I mean, you could probably do it. I, early game, you can't. Later game, you know, stamina was stamina was not too too much of an issue. It's like fi fighting that wandering horde. And the only thing that can catch me are, are the behemoths. So if I can find places to like, you know, run and jump and hide. Like if I run them straight over to our town where I'm not having lag issues, I can cut through backyards and. I don't know. We'll see. I gotta make sure we have a lot of coffee on us anyway. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna end the episode here. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please drop your comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.